On today's episode, we're at Elk Cove Vineyards in the Yamhill Carlton AVA of Oregon's Willamette Valley, and we're here with winemaker Adam Campbell. This is a little segment I like to call Tasting with the Winemaker. Adam Campbell will talk our way through the Pinot Gris. Uh, so this is our uh, 2011 Pinot Gris, uh, and uh, I want to take you through this wine here. Uh, first, a little bit about it. Uh, we've got Pinot Gris on uh, four of our different vineyard sites and have about 85 acres planted in the valley. Um, it is by far our most important white wine. Um, I love Pinot Gris, uh, especially uh, ones like this that are stainless steel fermented. So uh, we have a lot of small... Uh, stainless steel tanks and we ferment really cold at about 50 degrees Fahrenheit uh, and uh, then bottle it early. We don't put it through a malolactic fermentation and all those things that we do uh, or choose not to do uh, are really there to capture the varietal character and the freshness of this variety. Um, it ripens alongside Pinot Noir in kind of the late, um, late part of um, September or early October and uh, if we do all the right things we'll capture that freshness so grab a taste and walk you through it so Pinot Gris from Oregon um, this is a good example. 2011, really cool vintage for us. Um, kind of classic cool climate vintage. Um, it's quite aromatic. It's got a lot of um, what I like to think of the stone fruit um, character to it. Um, specifically kind of peaches or even like white peaches. Um, this being a cooler vintage than some also has uh, some uh, like apple character as well and uh, a little bit of um, citrus notes. Um, in a riper vintage like we had in 2009, uh, it gets even into the more tropical fruits of um, you know, kiwi fruit and uh, things like that. But uh, I, I like them in the cool vintage like 2011 um, where you get stone fruits and even a little bit of melon. So a lot of those same fruits are, are um, there on the palate as well. Um, this has a lot of um, upfront um, character of um, white peaches, again, and me even melon. Um, it has a really bright acidity. Um, I'm a huge fan of, of having these wines have as high acidity as possible, uh, and I know I can balance that out um, with the fruit qualities. Um, and um, a nice long finish as well. So those are all kind of important things that, that uh, you know, make this wine what it is. Um, we've been making Pinot Gris since, uh, I guess, the mid 80s. And, uh, you know, we often used to think of ourselves stylistically as somewhere between an Italian Pinot Grigio and Alsatian Pinot Gris. Um, and uh, I think we've, we've uh, at, at this point now, we've been making Pinot Gris long enough in Oregon that we're really kind of describing these as, as more in an Oregon style and you know what it truly means to to have an Oregon style Pinot Gris so enjoy <laughs> 